channel and today I'm gonna discuss about the spouse visa for especially for Germany it's also called family reunion visa it's a main category and spouse visa comes under that uh, category of visa it's a long-term visa and I recently got married and I have to go through all the process so uh, with with all the from making the appointment to uh, going to the center for the uh, for submitting the document verification so uh, I got married in 2023 uh, so it's pretty new and uh, there was a lot of things that have been changed uh, I got mm, confused with several information that that I will find out in the different groups and uh, in the different places uh, but uh, finally uh, I find out uh, which was complicated so I thought it would be a good idea to make a video which will contain all the information that I possibly could give you uh, so today uh, the first thing first is like um, just gonna focusing on the family union visa uh, for for especially for a spouse for the long term and it's gonna be for the Germany so the main thing that we learn uh, is basically before 17th of October you have to visit the family for the family reunion visa you have to visit the German embassy if you are not in Delhi so uh, like you know uh, for so basically if you belong to any places in India you have to go to Delhi or uh, you have to go to uh, your center for example uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, these people have to go to Mumbai and uh, and like this. So uh, after 17th of October, the things have been changed and uh, for, for the spouse of the blue card holder, they have to submit their document on the visa VFS premises and not on the embassy anymore. So if you if you are holding the blue card or ICT card or like scientific or any of those things, uh, that related to this uh, you don't have to go to um, German embassy anymore you can just directly go take an appointment for the VFS and go for the visa visa uh, VFS center now the most confusing part in this is like from where to book an appointment and how to book an appointment so like I even even I got confused two times because I booked first appointment in German embassy and then uh, suddenly I read this news before one week of my appointment that I have to book my appointment in the VFS center, not in the German embassy. So I have to cancel that and rebook it. And you already know if you're on the same boat that how difficult it is to finding an appointment uh, quickly, right? So you, the one thing that I'm gonna show you is like you, once you go for the VFS global, you have to go for this you create your account right you register yourself and you will see when you click on this new applicants you're gonna see this window and here you have to select your own visa application center not the consulate of germany especially for the blue card holders right and uh, then you're gonna see the uh, category of family reunion it stay more than 90 days and then in here you will see no sorry i select the wrong one okay so i will select mumbai vfs application center then you have to select this stay for more than 90 days and here automatically it just have only one uh subcategory which is a spouse child of an indian foreign with blue card ict card staff exchange scientist and scholarship holders so these are the categories so if you have the ict category of blue card holders you don't have to visit to the uh, german consulate anymore you can just you have to go to the VFS basically now as you can see right now the available slots right now is on 28th of June uh, so it's like one month uh, but if you're looking for the uh, quick appointment or something uh, there is there is only one way you cannot even rebook uh, or, or reschedule an appointment by call you just have to do from this website so what I would recommend is like for example when I was doing it I got the appointment on 19th of June but then uh, what what I was doing is like every day I was logging into the VFS and I was checking in in the same portal I was just doing this same thing by rescheduling the applicant and it was like you know it's gonna show you the new uh, date new available date sometimes it's gonna be earlier sometimes it's gonna be uh, later than this but it's it's worth to check check so my, my my previous date was on 19th of June but then I got the uh, date for 10th of May so that was like somebody cancel it and you're gonna get get their slots so it's really depend on luck and how quickly you, how frequently you check from the website and another thing that I want pointed out pointed out again is like you cannot reschedule or 
book an appointment by calling VFS, you have to book from this uh, website only. Okay, so once you book the uh, book your visa uh, uh, appointment in Visa Application Center, okay, so the second thing that comes is the checklist that you have to prefer, right? This checklist is available in the Indo Deplo. And uh, if you're gonna even search for the checklist of visa, you're gonna find it very quickly. So it's like checklist of spouse visa for Germany, PDF. If you're gonna search for this, you're gonna get this first link of uh, this checklist, right? And this is exactly the document that you need uh, to take with you. Uh, you have to make two bundles of those documents. Uh, and make the two copies of every document and prepare as much as you can. So uh, the first thing first is like you need a valid passport. So if you're a girl and if you are applying for the uh, for the family reunion uh, and if you are willing to change your surname, I would recommend to change the surname before applying for the uh, visa. Like in my case, uh, my wife uh, changed her surname first. And then uh, after changing, uh, after once we got the uh, our marriage certificate, based on marriage certificate, we changed the surname on Aadhaar card. And then based on Aadhaar card, we changed the surname and address. Uh, after after updating the surname and address on Aadhaar card, we updated the uh, surname on uh, her PAN card and as well as in the uh, SBI account uh, just for the passport, so that they can so that she can apply for the re renewal of the passport with her uh, updated name, updated surname. Uh, you can also do the Tatkal uh, passport saver, right? And for that, uh, you can good to go with these three documents. So that's what we did. After after making the valid passport, uh, you're gonna get in the Tatkal, you're gonna get like in three or four days uh, your passport. So that's, that's not a big hassle. Uh, then after that, you have to fill this application form by, go, by going to this URL. Uh, you have to fill this every detail as much as is possible. This is also available in German and English. So you can change the language here, right? And uh, you can also, if you, uh, for example, there's two options one it's gonna save the json file in your laptop and another one would be uh, let you uh, save the pdf that you just filled out everything right and it, it's gonna be uh, a pdf file that you can save and you have to make two print out of that then the another document is a declaration form which look like this you have to sign and put the date and name of the applicant not your spouse and then the contact information, it's also the same. It's available on this URL as well. Uh, this is the same. You can fill your father's or your uh, your spouse uh, name or an email address, right? Then uh, there will be a personal covering letter. So this, this piece basically cover which kind of, uh, like what's the reason you are uh, you are applying for the visa and how long you're gonna stay there right so i, I would recommend to write uh, honestly uh, what why you're visiting so the main reason is like basically meeting with your spouse and living with him or her right uh depend on the situation and just explain that for example in, in our personal cover letter we we put all the documents that we that we are gonna bring there right and uh, you have to sign on on the uh, on the bottom with your name uh, as just just a letter right then there is an additional questionnaire uh, that you have to fill out with the name surname and everything if you if you get married with a hindu act or if you get with a muslim or like you know depend on your religion and you have to sign that as well then uh, you have to make a two copy of your first and last page of your uh, passport and if you get if you have some visa stamps then also of those uh, uh, print out then your spouse passport with the same containing entry and exit of those uh, visas if he have the certificate of residence this is uh this is one uh, the another thing is like uh, if if your spouse is living in germany already then uh, they have to uh, they they already have a city of res residence uh, document if they don't they can get it from the rat house or uh, city registration office if not then they can also present the uh, house contract right on that case, uh, just do the house contract and also ask for a letter with the signed uh, signed signature from the uh, landlord, so that you can present it with the uh, along as a city of certificate of residence, right? 
then a uh, blue card holder need to give their blue card or depend depend on which which residence permit your spouse have so that's the printout don't forget the green card along with the blue card that's come which written like you know there's a green paper that comes with the blue card or or any other card that that that's written there like how long you can work on which company work on all those information then for the proof of marriage for the hindu act and for the sharia law and like you know all those different uh, marriage act have the different uh, requirements i'm gonna go with the hindu marriage act so it's like you need the uh, marriage certificate that's the one of the most important certificate that you're gonna need uh, for uh, applying on the spouse so be careful with that i would recommend to printing out in the color document uh, color paper with the color print out and just submit as a color print out like you know so that seal sign and everything looks uh, looks real on that uh, then if if possible get a priest or temple or certificate uh, the priest certificate you can basically get the content from the uh, google we'll just write it and ask your priest to sign it if if possible or if they can give you the other card of that that's also okay if not then that's also fine um, but this one is just optional but if 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 you can get it that that would be uh, helpful for your visa process and it could avoid the uh, invocation of investigation for your uh, marriage and then uh, there would be a several photographs especially uh, where you performing uh, some special a uh, special ritual an important ritual for example feras and uh, uh, putting uh, putting sindur and all those ritual like kanyadan uh, haldi mandi all those things like whatever happens in the marriage right uh, those rituals so i would i would recommend like printing almost i don't know 50 to 100 photographs to make it an album and just show them and they're gonna take the uh, important photographs from them i would recommend also uh, like you know take some pictures with your parents and as well uh, like you know your parents their parents like you know and all some some other people who gathered on the uh, on the marriage so like you know it 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 shows like okay there was a lot of a lot of people and all so that that's that's good but it's like you know you you can just print out as many as pictures you can and just take them with you so that they can take uh, they're going to take the uh, important pictures that they think uh, for your visa document then the next one is birth certificate or uh, if the birth certificate is not in english or in german then uh, you have to uh, translate it into english or german and then notarize it with uh, with the public public uh, uh, notary so that that's very important it, it cannot be in hindi so you have to translate it then a school leaving certificate could be a 10th mark sheet or 12th mark sheet uh, that that include date of birth that's that's the main thing that they want to look uh, this one is good to go with your other hard card once you're gonna change your uh, surname if if you want to and uh, I don't think so they take the pan card so other hard card is like one of the famous thing right now so that's that's good uh, if this is the case then you need the divorce if this is the case uh, then you need this uh, then academic degree if you have the higher education like for example bachelor or master uh, then you can give you the de uh, degree as well for uh for this for the proof of german you do uh so a1 level would be required but if you do not if you are a blue card holder or uh, then you don't your spouse don't need a a, a1 you know, for coming in to germany right so that that would be uh that would be uh that would be okay without without with the a1 so so for example in here if you look in the document so you do not normally have to prove your German in uh, one of the following exceptions. So you are your citizen of the member state European Union, right? Or if you are belonging in these categories, or if you have a university degree, or if you have a EU blue card, uh, like you know, some some of the categories that does not uh, require your spouse to do the A1. So you can check all the uh, detailed information here. Two pictures, uh, which is not older than six uh, months, and be sure that your both ear uh, looks uh, on that picture, uh, not a smiling, of course. Then for the Mumbai, Kolkata, and Chennai, some other uh, documents would be also needed. Uh, the invitation letter, uh, the spouse who is living in Germany have to write a letter that they are uh, like you know inviting uh, his or her spouse to Germany to stay and they have to write like you know the specific reason why they want to uh, 
wherever they want to uh, inviting them and uh, they're gonna support them financially when they're gonna be in germany and uh, they have enough space to live together right then uh, your spouse would need the employment contract uh, the employment contract is also a very important document that you have to submit uh, with your uh, with your documents so uh, employment contract would be also good i would recommend also to taking in one mm, document from your employer uh, stating that you are currently uh, working in in unlimited contract for example right and you have this much salary and you work from here like you know and your address is this so some basic information that would be required then uh, three months of uh, salary slip uh, house contract again with the same document so we did a uh, house contract four times in our uh, in our visa application then uh, the one thing that's not written here is like insurance so you you uh, i would recommend to take a letter from your spouse spouse's health insurance so for example he's if he's covered from tk or if he's covered from aoka then uh, uh, then they need to ask uh, their insurance company uh, to uh, to give a membership certificate that they can and uh, if possible then they can also ask the insurance uh, insurance people to like you know give an insurance uh, uh, to make sure that you're gonna be covered once you will reach in Germany and register so that's what that's what we did and also visa fee so if you are in the uh, going for the uh, like you know blue card and all and if you're going to the visa office you don't need to make a DD demand draft on anything now you can just pay in cash credit card or upi uh, so all those things the the two things that you have to keep in mind is like you have to make the two identical set of printout or photocopies of uh, your documents i would recommend the color printout of all the documents so that they can see everything clearly and uh, also with your all original DOS certificates that you have right so that they can verify everything together if as i said if the document is not in german and english so for example if your birth certificate is not in english in my in our case we have to do the notary and uh, have to try attest the english translation of that document right so uh the one thing that like you know german misunderstood reserve is uh, is like you know they can invoke a, a investigation and you have to pay for for that for that investigation and it could take up to two months so I would recommend like, you know, take as much as document possible, even if you think it's not going to be helpful, just take it. Who knows if they get asked, you can show them, right? So it would be good to go. Uh, then uh, what else? Uh, on the uh, interview day is like, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of, uh, how, you, how I'm going to say, it's going to be a crowded, right? So if, if possible, take a premium launch access so that, you know, you can, your visa could be, done in one or two hours right and then uh, you can submit your document and come back quickly from the uh, from the center otherwise you have to wait almost uh, otherwise you have to take like whole day uh, just for the visa for with the, with the waiting line and all because there would be a much crowd for that uh, but yeah if you have any further question you can definitely ask in comment section I would, I would help you I would happy to help uh, good luck uh, thank you for watching